Peace and love. This is Jean Lee Mimani. Thanks for stopping by. I want to invite you to day five of my pre New Year's Eve resolution. So today we're going to talk about keeping it real. All right, and I'm going to keep it real with you because I'm sitting here and I'm in Dunkin' Donuts. Yes, I am, and I'm having my little coffee, you know, and I'm just chilling. You know, people think that I just eat whole grains and brown rice and figs and salad all day long. Well, I don't. I am uh, actually in between clients. Did some fitness consultations. I had two meetings. And actually, this is Christmas vacation. So the children are home. And I was going to go home after my meetings, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to stay out and get some work done. You know, and um, see what else I can accomplish before the day is done, before I go home and um, hear all the noise from my 16 and my 12 year old. They got a Wii and they're just like going bananas dancing. I'll probably be in there dancing with them too. So I said, let me stay focused out here and give you guys a little something before I go in. So, I'm going to continue to keep it real, and I'm going to show you what I have. I'm in Dunkin' Donuts, as I said. Um, but, I'm going to show you what I got. And, I'm actually going to look at this one. This one is so good. Oh my goodness. But, I decided not to have that because I don't know how long I'm going to have to work out later. So, if I eat that, I'm going to have to at least put aside 36 minutes to work out. Um, and I do cardio, I dance, and then I work out. But um, the bow tie has about 360 calories because the glazed donut has 280. So, um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to touch that. Maybe I'll break it up with the kids later on. But what I did have was a blueberry muffin before I got here. Um, before I turned this on, I'm sorry. And um, it was delicious. So, anyway, moving on. I just wanted to um, continue this. I'm going to read a couple of things that I wrote down last night when. I was meditating and these things came to mind. Um, if you love something, don't stop doing it because of someone else. Whether it's your mate, your family, whatever, keep it real, keep doing you. Number two, if you like someone, if you see someone across your room, you're at a, net, a networking event, you're online at the grocery store, you're at the laundromat, if you see someone and you guys make eye contact, go over and say hello. It's okay. The worst they can do is say, no, I'm not interested, or thank you, but I'm taken, and if I wasn't, you know, hey, I'd be all yours. What's the worst that can happen? You know, you build your confidence up, keep it moving. Number three, if you really don't feel well, had a long week, and you just feel like, you know, I just want to chill inside, and your friends are like, no, come on, come on, come on, let's go. Don't go if you don't feel like going, because... Every time that you do that, I know every time that I do that, when I get out, I'm just tired, I'm a little, you know, laid back. Not cranky, but I'm not into it as much as I would be if I were wanting to really be there. So if you really don't want to do something, you know, just don't be afraid to tell them, you know, not this time, I'm going to pass. And most of the time, you have a great time by yourself anyway. You just shock yourself. Um, when you spend time alone, when you really get into you, I can't even tell you the, the benefits of that. You have to see that for yourself. But please do try it. It's, it's wonderful. Um, number four, if someone in your life or at work is constantly disrespecting you, uh, has ill feelings towards you, you know, every time you come around them, they give you a little shade, you know, either address it or keep it moving, you know, but keep it real. Don't sit there and, you know, Go back and forth with them about things that you know you, you really don't mean, um, like acting like you really care when you don't. Maybe you do. Maybe it's them that doesn't doesn't care. But don't. My point is, don't give people energy um, that don't give it back to you. You know. So that's what I'm learning to do. I've learned that over the years. You know, everyone isn't going to like you, and so what? That's their business. You know. Just keep it real. Keep stay true to yourself and keep moving on with your life. Uh, number five, if you are one of those people that bite your tongue all the time uh, to keep the peace, I know you have to choose your battles wisely. People looking at me like, what is she doing in there? I hope they don't start coming here asking me crazy questions. Anyway, um, 
Okay, see a guy over there at the catch register. Please do not come over here messing my video because he's sat down. Okay, back to you guys. Um, <laughs> um, if you bite your tongue a lot, you know, to keep the peace, you can intelligently and respectfully, in a classy way, keep it real and, you know, just let out what you have to say. And um, because when you when you keep things in, you harbor resentment and you harbor, you harbor ill feelings and at least ulcers and stress. And when you when you blow up, like when that last person has really got on your nerves, you're just gonna let them have it. And it may be the person that doesn't really deserve it, like the other ten people did. But because you've been holding it in so long, it's been festering, and it's time to just let it go. So let it out little by little. You know, speak your piece in a classy respectful way, you know, even though it's hard sometimes when our emotions take over, we gotta practice that. Alright, also, I don't know what to have some other stuff in here, number seven, um, someone asks, why did you ever call me? You know, and um, they always hit you with, oh, I've just been busy, you know, I haven't had a chance, or, you know, I called, but you didn't pick up, and yada, yada, yada. Well, guess what? There's this little thing called voicemail, and there's this fantastic thing called text. So, you know, you can send a text to someone every now and then, let them know you're thinking about them. Um, you can voicemail if they don't pick up. You know, these people make time for what they really want to make time for. So don't let someone tell you, you know, I just didn't have time, I'm really busy. They make time for that guy, they make time for that girl, they make time for their rims to get shine, they get time for their nails and their hair done, you know. So the point is, keep it real. If you're bumping into someone and keep saying that every time you see them, then that means probably they don't want to talk to you. You know, bottom line. And that's fine. That's fine because you don't need them. You don't need, don't try to be in anyone's circle that isn't trying to be in yours. That's all I'm saying. You know, 2012 is coming. We got to get this out, this negative energy out. Do things that bring back positive energy to you. Do things that make you feel good. Go to places that make you feel good. Be around people that uplift you. Do things that uplift you. Read, educate yourself. Uh, go different places. You know, there's a, an abundance of things that we can do alone that don't require a lot of people or maybe you know one other person but what i'm saying is don't put your life on hold waiting for other people right because you miss out on a lot life is too damn short um what else if you're mm, this is touchy if you're in an argument with someone preferably your mate and you try to act like everything is all good you know and um you're really trying to walk away just to save face, but you're really, really acting like, you know, I'm good, whatever. But you're really upset and you do something that you're gonna regret later after you leave the house because you're, you're upset. Don't do it, just keep it real. Tell them how you feel, tell them your feelings are hurt. You know, baby, that really hurt my feelings when you said, XYZ, you know, I prefer if we talk about it, you know, can we handle it like this? Or this is what I meant to say. Um, you know, accusations, pointing the finger, you always, never, um, can't, I don't want to, you know, those are negative things in a relationship. I'm no relationship expert, but what I'm saying is I was married, um, happily divorced, and actually we are really good friends now, but um, I've learned a lot, and um, those words do not help, definitely. So what you want to do is always try to talk to the person that you're with, and, um, you know, not yell, you know, try to handle things in a peaceful way, especially if you have kids around, you know, um, they don't need to hear all of that. So, I hope that this segment of keeping it real helped you out. You know, you see what I do. Um, I think I know what every single Dunkin' Donuts is in New York City. Um, they actually just gave me the password to the, the Wi-Fi. They said, you know, they came over and said, you know, we don't have to give it out to anyone, but we're going to give it to you because we see you are very loyal here for the past two, two three years. So, shout out to Dunkin' Donuts. Um, <laughs> thank you guys for having me there, looking at me over there. Hey, almost done. Um, so I'm going to wrap this up. Um, thanks for stopping by. Today's Keeping It Real. Day five of mental fitness, um, pre New Year's Eve resolution challenge. So if you haven't seen the other videos, feel free to stop by. You know, um, visit me on YouTube, Miss Independent 0808. 
and subscribe so that every time I do a video, I'm